Hello everyone, my name is Haley Elizabeth and if you don't know who I am, I post videos pertaining to a little bit whatever I want. True crime, conspiracy theories, controversial people, vlogs, and all things spooky scary skeletons. So if you're into any of that, you can subscribe and if not, no pressure. Like please do not feel like you have to subscribe in order to be a part of this cute little family we got going on. I haven't done this in such a long time. If you are familiar to my channel, then you would know that back in the day I used to like do my makeup while talking about um, like conspiracy theories, true crime, controversial people, but I just kind of stopped doing the makeup when it came to true crime just because, you know, to me, you know, that's not really my thing anymore. I don't think I want to be doing anything like that, but I thought for conspiracy theories, I could do some makeup. Everyone has been begging me to do a conspiracy theory video. These videos, these conspiracy theory videos are kind of hard to research for because every time I go on to like Reddit, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, Twitter, there's no good conspiracy theories anymore all there is like every time I go to those websites it's either swapped with like COVID conspiracy theories I can't say that too loud or else like this you'll see that like little bar at the bottom of the video um yeah they're either swamped with those or with politics you know and I don't really want to do conspiracy theories about that I just rather do like you know fun conspiracy theories like the first one we're gonna be talking about in that we live in a simulation. All of the products that I'm gonna be using on my face will be linked down below. I got you, I got you. Like, don't, don't even worry. Dab me up, dab me up, dab me up, dab me up. <laughs> dab me up, dab me up. Okay. Anyways, let's go on. We live in a simulation. Now, you guys have probably heard people talk about this a million times over, but I've never really seen anybody talk in depth about it. The theory goes that we all live in a simulated reality, such as a computer simulation. This computer simulation convinces all of its inhabitants, you and I, that this simulation, this world, this life that we're living in is considered real life, when in reality, it's not. Each and every one of us are living in our own own simulated reality, our own simulated world. This world was created by someone else, someone maybe like an alien, maybe a higher power. Of course, with the way that the internet and technology is advancing so, so much now, especially with VR and the metaverse, imagine how technology will be more advanced in 300, 500 years. If you think about it, when you go online, you are entering in technically a simulated world. So I don't doubt that in the future, they could create simulated planets as well. Possibly a world we're living in right now. And that is basically where the simulation theory stems from in that the world that we're living in right now is not a real planet, but a simulated reality made by someone in the future. So now that you know what it means, means to live in a simulated world. I don't know about you, but when I was looking into this, I was like, why? If we are living in a simulation, why, you know? So I was reading this other conspiracy theory within the conspiracy theory. As I said, these simulated realities are said to be run by aliens or higher ups or humans possibly. And of course, by nature, humans and even robots are not perfect. Robots malfunction all the time, humans malfunction all the time by nature we are just not perfect so because of that it would make sense if our simulation since it's run by those things it would not be perfect and that would explain glitches in the simulation or glitches in the matrix I've also heard it called glitches in the simulation or glitches in the matrix if you don't know what that means sometimes people experience things that don't make sense sometimes they see things that aren't there maybe multiple people see something that's not there or there's just glitches and there are a lot of videos online that showcase these glitches although a lot of them they do look edited so I try to pick out specific videos that to me didn't seem like they were edited and that is where it leads me into the first clip Go, I'm filming. <laughs> 
So basically this girl is, you know, having the time of her life. She's on this rope and then all of a sudden she falls off the rope, but it looks very much like she had hit something before falling into the water. Now, as you can see, there is literally nothing there. And I tried to come up with explanations for this, but I just couldn't this wasn't just you know like her back twisted in a weird way and she fell like if she was falling she would have just fell fell you know that woman broke her entire back on whatever that was it looked like she genuinely hit something with the quality of the video you could say that it is edited but i don't know the way that she falls like even if there were to be something there i don't know what would even be there in the first place that would make Make her fall like that it looked like she was in the middle of falling and then stopped and then continued her fall now moving on to the second clip okay don't mind this massive pimp but so the craziest happened to me earlier so uh, okay there was a glitch a glitch in the system I'm gonna show you guys a video okay so in this video you can see me uh, grabbing a lemon right I cut it in half and then I cut it in half once more, right there. You can see me cut it, right? I go get a bag, okay, I grab the bag, I go back for the lemon, and I grab the lemon, and I touch it, and I'm like, why is it not cut in half? In my face, I'm like, what the f So I, I'm like inspecting it, I take it out of the bag, I grab this lemon, trying to see if I cut that one, I recut the lemon, because the lemon wasn't cut anymore. Oh, I'm freaking out because the lemon was not cut in half anymore. It was literally intact. And you can see me in the video cut the lemon in half. There was a glitch. There was, this has never happened to me and I'm, I don't know how to act. I'm freaking out. I'm going to play the video one more time so you guys can see for yourselves. Somebody please explain to me what happened because I need to know. A lot of people were sending me this TikTok through Instagram because I don't have TikTok, but um, a lot of people were sending me this video telling me to check it out and see like if it looks real to narrate what's going on. This girl is at work and she's in the middle of cutting a lemon and you can clearly see by the security footage, she cut a lemon and then she went to go get a baggie to put her cut lemon. But when she returned to her lemon, her lemon was never cut in the first place even though you clearly see in the security footage that she had cut the lemon all the way through i did think this video was a little scary looking but i'm sorry i'm sorry i don't mean to be that guy i don't mean to be that guy you guys have ever chopped a lemon or a lime before you know if you cut it in half the wetness of like the inside of the fruit is going lemon's a fruit right is lemon a fruit? Yeah, because there's seeds in there. Anyway, usually like the wetness of those things allows the two sides to kind of stick together. And so you kind of need to pull. Maybe this was just a really juicy lemon and it kind of stuck together. Even, oh my God, see there's so many like random little things about this because if you slow down the part where she cuts the lemon again you can see there's a little bit of resistance as if she's actually cutting the lemon and it's not just going all the way through i don't know that's just kind of like how i viewed it personally i feel like there are some easy explanations for this this one was like kind of creepy when i watched it for the first time to narrate this girl is sitting on her bed and she sees from across the room that her diffuser that's lying on her dresser is on but it's not on her diffuser is on in the reflection of the mirror but as far as her diffuser on the opposite side of the mirror it's off i was even trying to think because you know how sometimes if you have like 
fog or like a diffuser on sometimes like a certain look of light will make it look like nothing's coming out but like there's not really much light in that room like it's kind of dark there's a lot of shadows so if the diffuser was on it would show that it was on in the mirror and outside of the mirror this one is a little bit tricky to explain again like these people who make these videos i don't think these people know how to like after effects their videos <laughs> create you know the most like gnarly looking video ever i don't think it was like that in this situation but it is very hard to explain and it kind of was freaky when i watched it this is a third clip and it was taken in japan i believe Let's dissect it. This cat is just walking in place. I try to see if I can see some sort of mechanism as to why that would happen. I don't think there's a treadmill under him or anything. I think he's genuinely just walking like that. And at first I thought again that it was edited or something, but you see these people walking past on the street and they are also genuinely really surprised and concerned so that's kind of what sold me mostly that like there were strangers stopping the cat looks like it's walking like it looks like it's walking so like where is she going this last clip that the clip so this this last clip that i'm about to show you it's literally a jump scare i watched it and i jumped i'm gonna just play it oh my god that stuff you see in paranormal movies Man appeared out of nowhere, OMFG, I almost died. And again, these girls don't look like the type to whip out Adobe Premiere Pro, After Effects, go in and do all of this editing, and then also get like an old man to be an actor in this TikTok. If you slow down the video, because I was thinking, okay, well maybe this guy is on it, and he just walked in from like the right side, but even from the right side, like he literally appears behind them. Like that man did not walk from anywhere he quite literally just teleported and I even considered the possibility that okay well maybe he is in on it and he was crouching and then he got up but even that you can see a good portion of the um like shelves behind them so even if the guy was crouching you would see some part of his head and throughout the video you're able to see the entire bottom portion there's no way that he was crouching there was no way that he came in from the left or from the right I think the reaction of the girl on the left also sold me as well because that looked like a genuine jump. I thought that was crazy. Again, literally men cannot stay out of women's business. There was this one tweet, I'll throw it up on screen, um, reminds me of what we're talking about right now. So those were the only videos that I watched that I couldn't really have explanations for. So that is the simulation theory and I kind of wanted to put an ending disclaimer on specific specifically the simulation theory because I know that it's such a freaky concept because sometimes people will get in their own heads and thinking like oh my god my friends aren't real my family isn't real nothing is real you know I, I don't want you to think like that obviously we are living in real life these are just theories they're not meant to freak you out they're just to intrigue you if, if we are in a simulation and there is someone controlling me my controller is a woman my simulator is a woman and I will say that till the day I die there is no we slay we wear pretty clothes clothes we read romance novels we have picnics we see pretty things there is no possibility in any of the simulated worlds that a big hairy stinky man wrote that up no way like we our simulator is a woman our simulator is a hundred percent a woman it only makes sense next conspiracy theory that we are going to be discussing is the back rooms and the back rooms I saved this for a second because I kind of wanted to start off, you know, with something a little bit, oh, it's whatever, kind of playful. But this backrooms conspiracy kind of freaked me out to the point like where I kind of felt like I needed better help. 
wait. I would love to thank the sponsor of today's video, BetterHelp. Mental health, especially in the past couple of years, has been such a priority topic. I feel like a lot of people are really taking mental health seriously. A lot of things are becoming normalized, such as taking mental health days and therapy. So if you find yourself feeling depressed, anxious, or overwhelmed, BetterHelp is here to help you. There is a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's over 20,000 therapist networks that typically may not be available to you in your area. You just fill out the questionnaire to help assess your specific needs and then you get matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Then you can later on schedule phone sessions, video sessions, or if you're not really comfortable with speaking to a therapist, BetterHelp also has unlimited messaging. And don't worry, all of your information is confidential because BetterHelp just genuinely wants to help you. I've been using BetterHelp for a minute now and, and I'm not just saying this because of the ad like I genuinely feel like it was such an amazing thing that I did for myself I honestly feel like better help is so convenient if you are the type of person that travels a lot or you don't have transportation to go to therapy every week better help you literally just do it in the comfort of your own home and it's so so much better and one of the things that I did learn in one of my sessions whenever I get super anxious I tend to like disassociate and I'm like all the way up here when I should be you know down here when I do feel like that I simply just name five things I see five things I hear and five things I smell and by doing that you're basically just training your brain to be more into the present moment and really understand where you are and what you're looking at so you're no longer up here you're slowly climbing down here bringing yourself back down to earth and I've realized that ever since I've been doing that my anxiety has gotten so so much better say you get better help but the therapist that you got is just not a real good fit for you do not fear again better help is here you can easily just request a new therapist at no additional cost join the 2 million plus people that have taken charge of their mental health with an experienced better help therapist and if you click the link down below or go to betterhelp.com that is better h-e-l-p.com slash Haley elizabeth you can actually get 10% off your very first month. I really hope you guys go for it because honestly, again, like it is just something I highly encourage, but BetterHelp kind of slays. Like it literally slays. You need to go to betterhelp.com slash Haley Elizabeth. That's H-E-L-P dot com slash Haley Elizabeth. Get your first month 10% off. BetterHelp slays. And that's the end of the ad. Okay, back to the video, back to the video. Yeah, anyway, sorry about, so, sorry about that. Dime me up, please. Okay. Thanks, dog. The concept of the back rooms is honestly such a large concept. I could make an entire video just discussing about it. But instead of, you know, getting into the entire topic right now, I'm just going to give you guys the highlights. So the whole back rooms concept originated back on 4chan when someone posted this photo. And it reads, if you're not careful and you know clip out of reality in the wrong areas, you'll end up in the back rooms where it's nothing but the stink of old moist carpet, the madness of mono yellow, the endless background noise of fluorescent lights at maximum hum buzz, and approximately 600 million square miles of randomly segmented empty rooms to be trapped in. God save you if you hear something wandering around nearby because it sure as hell heard you. Ooh, mm, scary. <laughs> so to kind of break down what I just read, if you are unfamiliar with the term no clipping, no clipping basically means in terms of the back rooms that you are going from reality, the one you are living in right now, and accidentally going into an alternate reality. Some people do things such as opening up an odd door and going into the room, opening an odd window and going through that window. Some people lean against a wall too hard and end up going through that wall and into the back room people end up tripping and falling onto the ground and falling through the floor and into the back room i've also saw like some videos where people will dive into a pool and then once they're down in the pool they come back up and they're in the back room so that is basically how you could get entered into this alternate reality called the back rooms so what makes the back rooms so scary the back rooms said to 
have over 1,000 different levels of the back room, and in each level you are confronted with these very oddly familiar places. Some say that, you know, whenever you look at photos of the back rooms, everyone gets this weird, eerie feeling, and we can't really explain why. It kind of is like this weird deja vu nostalgic feeling, as if we've been in that room before, but we have no direct memories of it. And this is where the conspiracy comes in, is that we actually all were in the back rooms, and we ended up surviving the back rooms but when we survived the back rooms we got all of those memories wiped and that's why whenever you look at pictures of the back rooms you just get this weird anxious eerie feeling instead of direct memories but why would we have been there you know like what is the point of us going into the back rooms. A reason why we may have been entered into the back room is that, as I said, if you kind of want to tie this in with the simulation theory, the government is trying to create a smarter and stronger society. So in order to build a smarter and stronger society, they needed to kill off the weak. So they put people into these simulated realities or these back rooms to see which ones complete them. And then if they complete them, their memory is wiped and they start into this real world that we're in right now. A lot of people on TikTok or just on social media in general have actually said that they have had death experiences before where they have died for like a minute, 10 seconds. A lot of people have said that they did not see this bright light as people say they actually saw the back rooms. But what if we are not living in a simulation, but what if we are all just living in one big back room? If you complete all levels, then you can return back to Earth. And for you, it may feel like you were in the back room for years and years and years, but in reality, you've only been gone for a couple of seconds. Although they can erase your memory, they can't really erase your feelings, you know? There's even this subreddit called r slash backrooms where people will post pictures of the back rooms and all of the comments are literally like oh my god why do I feel so connected to this place like why do I feel like I've been here and there's also been other people who have posted photos and then they explain the entire layout of that room without seeing the entire room and it's because again they've been there before so even you sitting down right now look at these photos and you kind of get this like weird familiar feeling chances are you have also been in the back rooms but just don't know it. This one kind of freaked me out because it's like the way that you get into the back rooms as I said is to fall through a wall or a floor so I feel like that's kind of scary next time I like bump into a door or like go into a pool. It's just the possibility that oh my god when I open up my eyes I'm, I might be in the back rooms. So the last thing that I want to talk about these back rooms is that on each floor, um, I kind of talked about it earlier, the entities. Now the entities I found very, very interesting. So there's certain entities on each floor, entities called smilers. Smilers are basically just kind of Cheshire cat sort of smilers and they stare at you and the only way for them to not attack you is if you don't break eye contact with them. It's also stories of people saying that they have met people in the back rooms but those people that they met just turned out to be entities. Entities that disguise themselves as windows and the only way for them not to hurt you is if you recognize the entity and you realize that it's not a real window. If it is a real window and you think that it's an entity that's when they'll kill you. People have also said that in the back rooms they have had sort of a false hope as if they had finally gotten out of the back rooms but as soon as they get close to the exit it is indeed an entity so if you really think about it you really could have just entered the back room a couple days ago and you wouldn't even know about it but i know again that these conspiracy theories do freak out a lot of people because it is a scary concept the fact that we could all be living in a back room right now and there's a certain someone who's watching every single move that you're doing and everyone around you your family and friends are also not real but instead a part of the back room and they're actually entities and one day when you realize that they're entities that's when they'll kill you off. Again a very scary concept but I thought I could make it better by showing you um, some funny pictures of the back rooms to kind of like make it more laughable than scary. <laughs> Some 
weren't those pictures so funny? Going on to our third and final conspiracy theory and also a couple bonus Mandela effects at the end. The third and final conspiracy theory, we are gonna be talking about the Teletubbies conspiracy theory in that the Teletubbies live in a cult-like world and they subconsciously recruit their children viewers. So when talking about the Teletubbies show in this conspiracy theory, there are a lot of things that people strike as weird or off-putting. Kids shows back then and kids shows now really aren't that different. Like a lot of people like to be like oh the Teletubbies was so weird and the Wiggles were even weirder. Girl have you seen Coco Melon? Literally the same thing. I don't know what you're talking about. So if you guys are familiar with the Teletubbies, the Teletubbies is basically a children's show about these you know couple of Teletubbies that live in a utopia sort of or a cult-like world where everything is perfect, the sun is always shining, and the colors are always vibrant. And in the start of the show they always start the show with the sun rising and that's when the Teletubbies wake up first thing in the morning. But the weird thing about this sun is that it's a baby as the sun. The sun symbolizes power. Since the target audience for Teletubbies is babies and children, it would make sense why they had a child as the leader of this entire utopia. There were also some things of people saying that this baby is actually a reflection of the baby that is watching because if you think about it, the sun is the baby. And if the baby is the reflection of the kid watching, it would make sense why the kid saw all of the things going on down below, what the Teletubbies were doing, because then themselves are the sun. I hope that made sense because I don't know how else to explain it. So when kids or babies watch this show and they see themselves as the sun, kind of intertwined into this Teletubby world, it's basically just subconsciously making babies imagine themselves in a world like this. Now this point was further talked about in 2015 when the Teletubbies, I know, Teletubbies are still airing. When I read this, like I didn't even think the conspiracy was crazy. I thought the Teletubbies still working in 2015 was crazy. So yes, apparently in 2015 they had created this episode where they introduced Teletubby babies, except these weren't called Teletubbies, they were actually called tiddly tubbies. I don't know how like writers in a room could say that and be like yeah that makes sense. As I said placing the child into the world of the Teletubbies because before the Teletubbies were just a bunch of adults the tiddly tubbies are confined to one room where they also have other baby little friends. With this new tiddly tubby entering into the universe it confirms that Teletubbies are not only able to create children but also take care of them as well. And rather than them being raised by the Teletubbies, they are actually being raised by various machines, including the voice trumpets. Now I'll get a little bit more into voice trumpets in like a second or so, but I just need to say some things before talking about that. Every time you see the Tiddly Tubbies, as I said, they are literally confined to that single room. So I don't know how they could be living their best life like that. Every single time you see them, they are always laughing and giggling and having the time of their life. And in the Teletubby show for as long as time, there has never been any sign of adult authority or any sort of adult guidance. All you really see are the Teletubbies, which kind of appeals to kids even more because kids actually prefer when there's no adult supervision. So since there's no adult supervision on the show, the Teletubbies actually respond to a voice that's called the voice voice trumpets. The voice trumpets are little trumpets that come out of the ground in the beginning and and middle of the show and these voice trumpets sometimes have girl voices, sometimes have guy voices and they basically just control what the Teletubbies do every single day. They basically tell the Teletubbies when to wake up, when to go to sleep, and when to eat. So now that these Tiddly Tubbies 
are entering into the universe as well, they are also being controlled by these voice trumpets similar to the Teletubbies. They also tell the Teletubbies when to take care of their child, as if these Teletubbies are kind of creating an army, sort of. So that was all I could really find onto the Teletubbies specifically. Whilst I was researching these conspiracy theories, I actually did find a couple of Mandela effects. I just thought that these were really cool, so I wanted to share them. So the first Mandela effect that I found was the Febreze versus Febreze. Whenever I think of Febreze, whenever I like remember seeing Febreze in the aisle, I always remember Febreze having two E's, but apparently Febreze has always been one E. Febreze, but with one E in the middle instead of two E's. If you think about it, Febreze, like breeze, the word usually has two E's, but in Febreze, the brand, it's only been one E. If you guys have ever heard that song, it's a pretty old song and I don't remember where or what it's from, but if you guys have ever heard that song where it goes like, this is the song that never ends, da 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 da, my friend. It's called the song that never ends and usually that is how it goes. It goes, this is the song that never ends, da 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 da, my friend. I should probably look up the lyrics. Well, actually I shouldn't because it wasn't that. It was, this is the song that doesn't end. This is the song that doesn't end. Yes, it goes on and on, my friend. Some people started singing it, not knowing what it was. And they'll continue singing it forever just because this is the song that doesn't end. Oh, no. I remember like specifically hearing this is the song that never ends not this is the song that doesn't end now I think there was this popular TikTok of this girl singing the song and she goes this is the song that never ends so I feel like maybe that's where I got it from but just watching the video just looks really off-putting like it just doesn't feel right okay so literally Mandela effect within the Mandela effect do you know how I was saying like oh I probably got it screwed up because of that TikTok I just looked up the TikTok so I can put it in the video she literally says this is the song that doesn't end this is the song that doesn't end because it goes on and on my friend some people started singing and I know what it was and they'll continue singing it for just because I was so sure I literally said it with like my whole entire chest that I was like oh I probably got it screwed up because that TikTok she never said it in that TikTok that is embarrassing and baffling okay bye and the last Mandela effect that I found and this one was really really crazy um if you guys have ever heard of that Billy Ray Cyrus song it's one of his most popular songs don't break my achy breaky heart I always thought it went don't break my heart my achy breaky heart but no apparently it was never don't break my heart my achy breaky heart it actually was don't tell my heart my achy breaky heart <laughs> That was really insane to me because I remember listening to that song. But yes, that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. We talked about some pretty interesting conspiracy theories. We talked about the simulation and nothing is real and our simulator is a woman most definitely. Everything that happens happens for a reason because we are all computed to work a certain way. And of course, there's glitches in the world as well due to the simulation. We also talked about the back rooms in that a lot of people who say they have died for a couple of minutes or even a couple of seconds say that they did not see a bright light but instead be entered into the back room. Next time you're walking down the street, make sure to really take care of your steps. Do not trip. Do not fall into a wall. Do not even dive into a swimming pool because you never know when you open up your eyes, you may be trapped in the back room. Also talked about a pretty fun one. I wanted to like kind of 
kind of end it off on a fun note. The Teletubbies, how they are creating a cult and recruiting the children who watch them. As I said, it's really hard to find good conspiracy theories these days because everyone is talking about conspiracy theories as well as like politics and I don't want to do that like I just want to like be spooked you know I, I just want to like have a little chill up my spine I don't want to like talk about global illnesses or politics I just want to give another ending disclaimer that everything that I mentioned in this video is purely hypothetical it's based upon theories and theories only I'm not claiming for any of these things to be factual these are purely just theories that I found online Some some may believe it, some may not. That is completely up to your opinion. Your opinion does not have to be the same as mine, and I am not trying to influence my opinion to affect yours at all. All I'm doing is, you know, laying out some fun conspiracy theories, and then it's up for your interpretation of how you want to perceive it. That is the end of today's video. I kind of went for like a very beachy look. As I said, I haven't sat down and done like a crazy makeup look since my last video, so I just went for something super simple so I will definitely want to do more of these in the future as I said it's just difficult to find any good ones if you guys enjoyed make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to follow me on any of my socials like my Instagram that will be linked down below as well as my PO box if you want to send me anything and as well as well all of the makeup that I use on my face so if you are interested you're like Haley what is that lip combo what was that beautiful blush you just put on your face all of that will be linked down below again i hope you guys enjoyed i really really love doing these er, i love doing them and i wish i could do them more often but yeah so i will see you guys right back here well not right back here right back there uh for a true crime video next week next week wednesday i love you i love you i love you and do something that makes you happy today